Hey friends, today we are going to be solving a new quest. This quest is titled Iron Components, and in this quest, we are going to be setting up styled components, which is a way of styling React applications. So um, let's just get started. So as usual, the first thing we need to do before we you know, start any quest is to run the dot slash. So let's do that, dot slash third underscore quest dot, dot sh. So now that we've done that, the next thing we need to do is to run Docker Composer so I'm just going to run it here since I can be using the other tab for you know other commands that we might need to run. So let's run Docker Compose up. Okay, so our app is ready. So we can confirm that by going to look at who's 3000. Backend should be running. Okay. Backend is running. Then look out 2001. Front end is also running. Great. So now let's go back to what's and see what Ness has to say. Um Keen. This is Keen, not Ness. So let's write done. So Keen is typing. So he, um, Ken says, we need to make our components tough as iron. It would be a good idea to start using the style components library and have some CSS on JS action. We will start by installing the package in the application and doing the initial setup. Here's the documentation. For now, you just need to do a couple of things. Git pull origin main to have the latest changes, then create a branch and install the style components package through the Docker frontend email image using yarn add so it might also be a good idea to restart your docker container afterwards open apr so we can review the changes so let's do as we are told so git pull origin main okay awesome awesome so we have the latest changes the next thing we need to do is to um, install Docker. Um, we, we need to install start components, a start components package through the front Docker front end image using yarn add. So let's create a new, a new branch first before we work. So um, git checkout dash b. Let's call it start components or oh, let's just let's just call it ion components one ion components one so now we are in a new branch called ion components one the next thing is it wants us to install it in the front docker front end image so we need to go to um navigate into our front end so CD front end, front end. Um, the next thing we need to do is to find the documentation. So it says with documentation, it says installation. So we can just do this. So let's just copy and paste it here. You can add star components. You have to do this inside the front end folder or else it might not work. So we wait for it. Then in our package.json, we need to add this as a resolution because um, this helps avoid an entire class of problems that arise from different versions of style components being installed in your project. So let's just do this. So copy, then we come to our code. Always make sure to, to reload your window whenever you do a pull so you have the latest um, files. And um, so we go to uh, inside our front end. This is the back end. So we go inside the front end. 
we go to package.json, we come to resolutions, put the comma here, then we paste it. So I think for the most part, this is what we need to do. So let's just, you know, send the PR. So let's see if this solves it. Okay, so let's just check if well, our changes can be found. Okay, so git add dot git commit dash m install styled components, right? So git push origin ion dash components dash one. So we just push this, then we create a PR a pull request by just copying this. We can copy this, then command V, paste it in, then Installed stack components in the front end folder. The front end folder. So we click on create pull request. So um, we we'll go upstairs on it. I'll review the changes right away. Let's go back to our anything and see. So the reason why this is breaking is because of the fact that we um, did not kill our Docker component, um, Docker container. So let's do that. Let's kill it and start it again. So you can kill your container by running Control C. So kill it and. Okay, so our our um. Installation works. So King says, Neil did excellent job and you can now merge the PR. So let's just merge it and move on to the next part. So confirm merge. So since our container, our Docker container has been queued, let's restart it. So Docker compose up. So we stop seeing the error we were getting. Okay, so let's refresh. Looks like we have our front end is broken. It says, what does it say? What does it say? It says, Unexpected C. Oh, oh, so this is the error. This is my this is my fault actually. So we close this. We kill this. So let's kill our container again. I run it. So there was a CCD here, which is why we actually had that error. So please, whenever you when you are making the changes to your package JSON file, be sure that there are no trailing um elements or trailing mistakes that can cause your front end folder to actually fail or your front end application to actually fail. So let's do this again. Let's take it again. It should work this time. It should work this time. Okay, let's reload our application. It's still building. So wait a bit for that. While we are waiting, let's go back and see what King has to say. So King says he has added, I've added a, a file called team.js inside the src slash style directly that contains a couple of styles. So let's go to our src style. Okay, so this is it. 
it says with this team, now we can now set up the team provider. You see, you can see here how, you can see how here, the only difference is that we want to do this on the index.js, which is inside the SRC directory. So the index.js, so which is this file here. So using the team objects we created, import team provider, import team, the team provider, use it and use it below the connected router. So it wraps the switch components. So we do using it below here. And open the PR when you're finished. So let's do that. So the first thing we want to do is to check the documentation and see how it's done. And see how it's done. So after we see that how it's done, then we can imp implement it the way we want to be implemented or the way it should be implemented. So um, scroll down, we've installed star components. Okay, so this is the way it's being done. You pass the team provider, you, you pass the team object you, at the prop, and that's basically how to do it. So shouldn't be big deal. So let's import. So you have to import the team provider. So import team, team provider from style components, then we use it like this. So we use it by wrapping the switch components. So this is team provider, close it, then we take all of this and we paste it inside here. Then we paste it inside here. So I think, okay. So I think this is what we need to do for the most part. This is what we need to do as, as the way it's done here. Since we don't have a team object yet, since we don't have a team object yet, and since we're not asked to add a team object, we have to go ahead and add, add it. So team, default to team. I suppose so team is not defined. So to solve this, we can just do const team because we will actually certainly be using the team again. So we just pass it pass an empty object to the team and everything works. So next thing we need to do is to create a PR because this is pretty much what we need to do. This is how to use the um team provider you pass in you create a team um object then you pass the team object as a prop to the team provider and wrap it around where you want to use the team for this particular case we want to use the team across the entire application that is why it seems like we are wrapping the entire app in the index of js generally so let's make a PO, a PO out so um let's do this so let's switch to a different branch. So we can create a new pull request, git switch dash C, ion dash components dash two, then GS. So we add all the changes that we've done. So git add dots, git commit dash M, wrap, Let's say we wrap router with team provider. I think this is a descriptive um, commit message. So then we do git push origin, origin ion dash components dash two. 
So as usual, we go back to our code, we copy this, and we can just paste it here. You can just click on it. I like to paste it. So let's we can just copy this and replace this with it. I mean, you can make it very much more um descriptive if you want. So we wait for our pull request to be reviewed. Let's go back and see what King said. King said on it, I will be the changes right away. So let's wait a bit. And it also says this branch is out of ditch with the base branch. So after our checks are done, we'll have to update the branch. So we are working with the latest code. So let's wait a bit. Okay, it says all checks have passed. So we did it the right way, right? We did it the right way and we are setting that it works. So let's update our branch first. Then we wait for it to run the PR checks again. Then we merge it. So let's check, okay. Seems like it's still being set up. Starting MongoDB, it's checking out our project and the checks are passed, so we can just merge it. So, so we can just merge it. Let me just refresh sometimes. It doesn't update states. So now we can just merge pull request, confirm merge. And it's as easy as that. So I really love working with start components because it makes you know JavaScript styling and you no know, really, really easier. So we are about 40% done with this um quest. So Let's see what King said. Let's do a simple refactor of our banner component. For that, we need to change it into a styled component. You can see how it works in the docs. It will be a styled div that accepts as a background color that we can declare on our team provider. Here's how to connect it. Create a, so basically, we are asked to create a styled div for the banner that uses a dark theme as background color and it will wrap around the existing contents, open PR when it's finished. So we need to, so what we are being asked is we basically convert the way our banner component is being styled into a styled component. So let's go to our components. Let's go to home, click on banner. So they want, we, we want to refactor all of these and make sure that it uses styled components. So how do we do this? So let's take the check the docs and see how it's done. So it looks like we are going to be using, so this is how styling works here. Style.h1, then you pass in the style, same thing, style.section, style.div, but what we, what is being requested of us is the style.div. So that's basically what we are going to do. So to do this, we need to import a couple of packages. So we need to import styled because that's the only way to style the style components. Then we also need to import the team provider because we're going to be using the team. So team provider, you can, so let's just make sure that everything is in line. So let's just skip space and paste it here. I like to arrange my files and all packages in different lines. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create, so we need to, we need to basically do exactly what we are seeing here, but for the banner instead. So let's call this styled banner. So styled banner is equals to, 
style.div. Since we're going to be using a div this time, not a um, section or a h1 like the example shows. So color, let's call it white. That's the text color. And we said we want it to be in a black background. So background color. So for this one, we want to be sure that we want to make it in a way that we can basically pass in whatever color to the background color without actually writing the color of the background. So that's what we what they call um without components. You can assign store um styling based on props. So adapting based on props. So for the background color here, we have to do something similar to this. So um props, then props to primary. So if the prop to primary is um if the prop pass to the back to the bit basically to the button is primary, then the color is this. But if the um prop passed is not primary, it should be white. So basically that's that's the idea here. So we're going to basically do something similar to it. So we basically want our props. Since it's going to be so props. Since we're going to be making use of our team, we want it to, so let's call our team dark. So props dot team dot dark. Then we can just pass in our semicolon here. Then we have to pick our team elements first, our team object rather, and then pass the color dark. Then let's call this on this is going to be black hash zero 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 zero. So this is basically the first part of what we need to do. Now the next thing is we need to refactor our components. So we need to refactor our component. So let's go back to and see what. So we basically, so for the banner, we want a dark theme as the background color. So let's let's see how far we can go. Let's see how far we can go. So for this, we will take this out. Seems like we don't need it anymore. We'll take this out. They will take this out. We will not be using it anymore. Then we are going to then pass in our team provider. So let's say team provider. Then let's wrap everything inside the team provider. Let's make sure we cut everything completely correctly. So everything is now inside our team provider, basically like we did the other time, we wrapped everything inside the team provider. So, as usual, it takes that's a prop of team, which is basically an object. So team, right? So now it has access to the team we created here. The next thing we need to do is to basically just pass in our banner, right? It's as easy as that. So let's call this styled banner because it's a div, so we have to make it work like a div. So the beautiful thing about style components is when you style a div and you name it whatever you want to name it, you can basically just pass in the name of that div, which is what we call styled banner. So let's make sure we are doing this correctly. Let's so make sure we're doing this correctly. Styled, styled banner. So everything you are doing, you have to make sure that the um, first letter is actually capital, else it would not work. So styled banner. Now let's go back to our app and see if this changes anything. So where's our app? 
So this is our app. Let's refresh. Oh, nice. So this banner is now black, which is basically what King wanted us to do. So we solved another um task. So the next thing we need to do, like usual, we switch to a new branch. Let's switch dash C. I mean, you can do this. You don't necessarily have to switch to a new branch, but personally, I just love it because it's like, you know, separation of concerns, separation of like, you know, my work, it makes my work cleaner, makes someone that wants to review the PR even understand that, oh, this branch is mainly for the task that it's giving me. So, so let's call this ion component three, right? So let's add this. Then git commit dash m refactored banner components to use styled components. This is distributing it should be enough. So the next thing is to git push origin ion dash components dash three. So as usual, like I always do myself, copy the URL, then paste it, create a new PR, paste, and it waits. So from our local file, we can see that it actually works. So let's see if we pass the test of the repo checks. So we go app says only that we view the changes right away. King says only that we view the changes right away. Okay, it says no did excellent job at active one to three. You cannot match the PR. So that works. So we can just close all of this because we don't need it anymore. So let's update our branch as usual. And we will continue. So it's important to update your branch so you have the latest changes and there's not going to be any Git conflicts, any conflicts generally when you're pushing in your next PR. Very, very important to always do this. So we wait while still working. So the checks are running and immediately the checks are done, you would move on to the next step in the quest. Okay, so it says all checks are passed, so let's just make a pull request. And yeah, we're done with this. So let's move on. So King now says this has been a really long task. Besides the team, we can also use global styles. These will be useful if you want to refine some constant properties throughout application, like default spacing or colors. For this, we need the global style.js file that I added into the src slash styled folder. So let's look for that. Okay. So it says, so this is basically our, this is basically our folder. So the next thing is, it's already clear, but you can check how the, the docs to see how it works. So let's check the docs. So yeah, we pass in, we create a global style. We pass in style. It's basically a tag template retrial. 
So we basically pass in our style like this, then inside our app, which is basically our index.js file, our, 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 yeah, our index.js file, you basically just pass a global style. So for this global style had the prop. So if it's white color, it shows white color, but if we delete this, it should be black. So let's do exactly the same thing, but this time inside our index.js file. So we need to import. So we need to import global style, right? From such as global style. So we're importing this into this. So the next thing is we basically need to place it in your React tree inside the team folder, team provider, inside the team provider, right? So it's pretty much simple. So you can just do global style, then close it. And if we do control S, our app should be red. That's a lot of red. So to show that it actually works, let's call this blue. blue so it's blue here so our global style is working so red let's take it back to red now refresh and now it works so as usual so git switch c ion I'm pretty sure you know this already. Ion components for git add dot git commit dash m added global styling to React free. So git push origin ion dash components. Oh, so now I copy this. Then let's just paste it here since we probably will not use this again. So just copy this. I mean, you can make it more descriptive, like I always say, but this is not for me. This branch out it will be the branch. So we need to next time before we solve the last step of this quest, just need to pull so we avoid this error. Let's see we merge this, then we pull. Okay. Seems like we're done with that. So new did excellent job, but you can now manage the PR. So let's make the PR, we have 60% done. So update our branch as usual, let's update it. Let's update it. Fix it any meaning tiny second. Our trick didn't work this time. It's actually still in the process of checking. And voila. So let's just measure our PR and we are on to the next. So let's move into our main, you check out main, then this gets full so we can have all our changes here. Okay, that's my bad, gets full. Okay, so it's already up to date, which is great. So let's get switch, rather get, 
take out since we are already up, moving from main dash b. So it was ion components four, right? Yeah. Ion. So let's make it ion component five. So let's see if we have any more tasks. Ah, I see. So he said, oh, something is definitely not right with the application. Have you seen the background color? Yeah, red really, really doesn't really look great. So it say, he says, I apparently left a couple of extra lines on the global star file. Can you remove them? Don't forget to open a PR. So let's do that. So what is wrong is this This shouldn't be happening. So it says background image none. We certainly want background image. Okay, our background image is back. Then we don't need the red color anymore. Doing the red color anymore. So I think our app looks good, looks like before. So I think this solves it. So get a dot, get commit dash m, fix background issues, then get push origin, origin, ion dash components. Five. So do command C, do this. How many percent are we doing now? Let's check 80%. So I think this is last steps, fingers crossed. So fix background issue. Okay, so let's create a pull request. So let's wait a bit for our checks to be completed. So our checks are still checking. And let's see. Oh, yeah, it says all checks are passed. And if you notice, we are not having that merge conflict with you know, having a very outdated branch. So let's just merge. So always pull for main whenever you make a, you know, whenever you are making a pull request and you've switched branch and you've merged your, your main. So always make a pull, git pull. So let's go back and see what Kim says. Kim says, great job. We still have a lot of work ahead of us. So click here for your next challenge. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you all next time.